Back from the scrimmage. Coach Petrino was talking about working on pad levels with you. What, what does he mean by that? Just running, Laura. Um, it was a big emphasis in the spring and stuff like that, and it carried over to camp. Don't run. He tell me all the time, don't run all the 6-2. Just run with better pad leverage, pretty much. So. How difficult is that, is that for a big guy? Um, I've been working on it. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a work project and stuff like that. It's, I'm definitely learning. We do drills and stuff like that with my coach. Just running under the shoot, stay low, and stuff like that. That, that shoot is lower than it than people realize, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty low to get under. It's real. It's, it's very tough. Corbin Lamb, we just struggle running through it, and he already starts, so it's, it's hard for me. But it's a learning uh, experience, stuff like that. I'm, I'm starting to get it, slow to get it now. But. How, how do you how do you run that low? I mean, what specifically can you do to contort your body that low? My coach always says it's pretty much you get your power when you lower stuff like that, especially with me because she don't always hop on. You're too high, you ain't got your power. So you, you might be using 40 or 50% of your power, not 90 and 100. If you run lower, then you can use all your power. So I've been working on that uh, from the spring, and now I'm starting to work on it more in camp. So you drop your hips? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. You drop your hips. You don't, like, keep your face to the ground and all like that. You still keep your head up, just drop your hips, and just lower your shoulders and have forward lean. That's one thing you keep on harping on as well, just run with better power level, run with better forward lean. Has that been something you've had to work out for several years or just a new emphasis this year? Uh, it's pretty much a new emphasis this year. And they pretty much, that's my goal going to every practice. They, they come up to me while we're stretching, work, work on your pad level, work on your pad level, forward lean, stuff like that. So, Bobby says that to you? Yeah. Are you better this? at it? Yes, I am. But it's still a learning process. It's not, there's nothing that's going to happen overnight. Stuff like that. It's going to take all the practice and stuff like that. All the drills we yeah. do. Individuals, it's gonna take all that to, in order to come September first and use it throughout the season. What's this backfield like for somebody who's in it right now? Oh, that's great. You know, you gotta come out there and compete every day because we don't really have no one guy. And your spot could be gone like that. You know, you just gotta come and make you better. You know, when one guy go down, we pretty much can't miss a beat, so he gotta know it just like the guy that's in front of him. And we're doing a great job with it. You know, we all love each other in the room. We care about each other. And it's better for us we go out there and compete, but still have fun while we're playing the game. So. Some fatigue starting to set in through camp now. It's a couple weeks now. Uh, no, not really. You know, they our uh, trainers do a great job making sure we get in the cold tub and stuff like that. Again, stretch, coming in for treatment, come earlier. You know, so scrimmage last night. What was the biggest takeaway from, you know, for the run game? Oh, we we did a great job. Uh, L.J. Scott did a great job. Corbin Lamb, Michael Dyer. You know, we all just we just worry about being physical. You know, we go run the ball a lot, especially in Petrino offense. So just when our number get called, just keep on running and just, just have big plays, create big plays. You know, obviously you and Mike are the two vets of the group. What what do you see as the role for a guy like uh, L.J. Scott? Uh, just be ready when this number called. Pretty much if myself or Mike is in the game and we get taken out, you know, just L.J. go in, just make sure we don't miss a beat. And he's doing, he's doing a great job. He did a great job in the spring for us, and he's doing a great job in camp. How the quarterbacks looked with the scrimmage yesterday, practice today. They're looking better. Um, they're starting to get more in rhythm. They, you know, Will especially had said that you know the timing was off the first couple of days. How are they looking so far? Oh, the quarterbacks are looking good. Even you even got the young guy Reggie. He's looking real good. You know, it's a learning process for them as well with the new offense and the new system and stuff like that. But they're doing a great job on handling it. You know, they're managing the team pretty much, and they, they're doing a great job with getting us in the right check, getting us in the right plays and stuff like that. So. Is Reggie ready to play? I think so. Yeah. He's doing a great job and stuff like that. He's working with the ones, working with the twos, and he's just getting us in the right play, and that's what the quarterback job is, make sure we're in the right play and just execute and get the ball to the playmakers, and that's what he's doing. He's doing a great job at it. you feel like it'll be a running back by committee type situation, or will one guy emerge as be the guy who gets the majority of the carries? Uh, we really don't know, especially with the Petrino system. Uh, he like all of us, pretty much. He gives us all equal amount of shares and uh, carries and stuff like that, especially in camp. We all touch the ball. We all rotate with the ones, and most of us rotate with the twos, so. If it's going to be his decision if you want one guy to emerge. But especially with the guys that we have and stuff like that, anybody can pretty much just go out there and play. We won't really miss a beat. So that's great to have that versatility in, the room, in our room. It seems like it's going to be more than just carries. I mean, there's a little bit more emphasis to get you guys more involved in the passing game as well. Is that something that, the, that you're enjoying? And oh, yeah, come we're around? enjoying it. We, we enjoy just having the ball in our hands, whether it's screens or, you know, receiving passes, stuff like that. In the visual, we work on catching the ball at the backfield because that's one – a big thing in Fortuna offense is the back that catch the ball at the backfield. So we do a lot of that stuff in individual. I feel like 